In this video, I'm going to review the futures price action on the MES for Monday, January the 22nd, 2024. We're going to start by looking at the weekly time frame and noticing uh, how our current candle is forming in comparison to our last candle. We'll work down to the daily time frame and then down to our, our intraday time frames. Before I begin on this futures market recap video, I want to mention that my referral links are in the description box below. Apex Trader Funding is currently running a discount on its uh, prop firm on its prop firm deals, its trading challenge. Um, I also added in another company, the Trading Pit GmbH, which I think is a company out of uh, like company out of Europe. Um, so you can sign up for the Trading Pit using my affiliate link in the description box below. In addition, you can find my link to American Blue Cash Preferred Credit Cards. Get a $75 statement credit by signing up using my referral link. 6% cash back on groceries, 6% on streaming, 3% on transit, 1% on everything else. All right, guys, uh, let's take a look starting with our weekly chart. So here on the MES, our first, our first thing that we want to take notice of is that we are currently sitting above prior all-time highs that we made in January of 2022. So prior, compared to our all-time high, we're currently sitting 71 points, and we made a high at 90 and a quarter points higher than the prior um, all-time high. Okay. Um, second, we want to notice that we've had two weeks in a row that are up weeks, so two uh, up candles. We've also recently ran on this buy side liquidity that would have been sitting above that all-time high there at 48.41. Half. So again, we've just ran above uh, buy side liquidity. So buy side liquidity ran. Okay, so we ran above our buy side liquidity there, and we're currently sitting in that buy side liquidity here on the weekly chart. So we've had two. Uh, up candles on our weekly chart in a row and let's get down to our daily chart so you can see that our candle on Monday was a candle that most mostly had its body in the wick so mostly again in the wick it's sort of an inverted hammer camel candle which under traditional technical analysis would indicate that we're probably uh, looking to turn around here so we might have seen our ultimate high get made uh, here on Monday. We had a high formed at 48.98 halves. Our low was at 48.72 quarters. And we opened up at 48.72 three quarters. We closed at 48.80 quarters. So we closed towards the open of the candle. The high of our candle uh, was, was well in the wick. All right, guys, let's go down to the hourly chart and let's block out the, sorry, we'll do the 30 minute chart. Let's block out the trading day starting from midnight, New York local time. So we opened up Sunday and we did not form a new week opening gap. You can see we did not form a new week opening gap. Let me let me double check that actually. Yeah, so no no real new opening gap, new week opening gap. Actually, we do have it here. But uh, I think it's almost less than a point. Go. And here we have a new week opening up low. So you can see how the market has been interacting with that new week opening gap high and the uh, new week opening gap low, which represents a market inefficiency. So 
Looking at our 10 minute chart, we can see that we opened up on Sunday by initially trading higher and then filling in this um, fair value gap that we had formed on the 10 minute chart. And then we made an overnight uh, Asian session high here at 20 hundred at uh, 4887 quarters. We then chopped around for the majority of the overnight session. Uh, as we came into the regular trading hour session, guys, let's go, uh, let's go ahead and break us out into our standard three session model. So not a lot to say about the overnight session. It, using the three session model, we opened up in the AM session and ran on our opening liquidity. We formed our high of the day at 1000 New York local time, which that high came in at 48.98 halves. The AM session then uh, turned lower and we formed an, an initial low at the, let's see what that is in relative to our uh, regular trading hours gap. We traded just about to the 0 0.75 of the regular trading hours gap. We then moved higher again and came into the lunch session. The lunch session then formed the low of the day at 48.73 halves. And then as we went into the PM session, we again, we ran on some buy side liquidity here. So some short term buy side liquidity at 48.86 quarters. And we paired our local high here at 48.88 evens. And now as we come into Tuesday's trading, we are uh, just chopping around again. Okay guys, so a consolidating day on the regular trading hours. The AM session formed our high and then we formed our low in the PM session. Uh, not a large daily range on today's candle. What I notice sort of visually and what, what really sticks out to me is the way that our weekly candle is forming. So, you know, assuming that we might have formed our high on Monday, it looks to me as though this candle's going to want to be a black candle with an upper wick. So, for example, like we can see here. To me, that's sort of what this candle right now looks like it wants to do. It looks like it wants to form um, an inverted hammer candle and trade lower here. So that's that's sort of what I'm noticing on the weekly chart. Um, I'm thinking the same thing right now on the daily chart. It looks like Friday, sorry, Monday's candle looks like a nice reversal candle, almost an inverted hammer with a large wick above. Um, it looks like a spot, a reasonable spot for the market to turn around. I also want to draw your attention to the fact that our buy side liquidity at 48.41 halves was already ran. Okay, so our buy side liquidity here, the market ran through that and up into any resting orders that would have been there. And at some point when the market runs out of interest, it runs out of liquidity, it's going to turn around. So if the market has already run that buy side liquidity and, and we could be seeing signs of turning lower, I think that this week would reasonably could be the first week where we start to move, we start to move down. And I would be looking at the market coming to this rejection block or this rejection block, the first rejection block being at 47.68 halves, the second rejection block being at 47.32 evens. I reasonably expect that the market is going to turn around as our liquidity has already been ran and the way that our current, our current weekly candle is forming, it naturally leads me to believe that it's going to be uh, a black candle. So I think we might have formed our high for the week on Monday. But of course, guys, um, these are just my opinions. I could be 100% wrong. Um, it's just from my trading experience and watching charts on a daily basis that I would think more likely than not that we're going to have a black candle. But again, uh, you need to make your own decisions when trading. I disclaim all responsibility. Okay, guys. So with that being said, that has been our market recap for Monday, uh, January 22nd, 2024. We look at the four hour chart on the regular trading hours. That candle to me looks like it's topped out. We've ran by side liquidity. Let's take a look at our electronic trading hours. We can see that we ran this shelf of buy side liquidity. We have rejection blocks 47.53. We have rejection blocks lower on the four hour chart. In addition, we have a fair value gap here that the market has not traded into. So I would reasonably expect the market to come in and trade into this fair value gap. So at this point in time, uh, I would be leaning short. I, ex I expect, I predict, although I cannot guarantee that the overall weekly candle this week looks like it's going to be a black candle. I, I am going to go ahead and predict a black candle 
for the week of January 22nd to January 26th. Uh, although, again, guys, I could be 100% wrong. Okay, thank you, and use my referral links.